Psalms 2 and 1, it reads, Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine, imagine Salakia, imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh, Bashem Yahushah, and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. I will start off by saying, Kal Halal, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakal Kadash, the bombers to our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and say, changes to the Akiyam on the four corners of the earth, doing its work in faith, truth, and sincerity. Salutations to you all, confusing the faces of Akiyam out there on the four corners. And if there are any aquas uh, trying to receive the word of Yahabashim Yahushah, through the spirit of Yahabashim Yahushah, and humbleness, meekness, and in silence, may the Most High shine uh, its light upon you. I was just showing this, this video that they were saying the countries that will rule the world in 2000 and, and, and 50, okay? So they got China. Is, is as the number one okay we've seen a couple of other um countries the united kingdom that is 10 germany japan all right i'm gonna stop right there so go back to the scripture psalms 21 why do the heathen rage and the people of that imagine a, a vain thing okay who are the heathens okay, the heathens or in any any nation outside the nation of Israel, okay? Those those are the heathens, man. Okay, so here we are. Let's go to the list of nations. Anyone outside of the nation of Israel is a heathen, man. Okay. And what what's what are they raging about? What's the vain thing? That they imagine rulership over over the earth, man. Okay, they 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 think they're raging because they want they want to have rulership over the face of the earth, man. They want they think they're going to implement a, a new world a new world order because consensus amongst the nations is to do away with Israel, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and, and and Native Americans. Okay, they're the ones they they they, they want to rule. Okay, they want to set themselves up. Uh, to rule, and that's the that's the and that's 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 what they're raging about, okay. And why is it a vain thing? Because it's not the will of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah, okay. The will of Yahweh Shah is for the, for the nations to go into captivity and be in the servitude under Israel and, and the kingdom be established here on earth, man. Not to be ruled by no gooks. Or, or or any 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 other nation, man. Not by the Indians, the Syrians, the Arabs, Chinese, Ethiopians, South Africans, Russians, you name it. That's not the will of the most high power. Okay? Alright? And his only his will is going to be done. Alright. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh and against his anointed, saying let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Saying, how can we destroy these people, man? How can how can we destroy them and 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 bring them down? Okay, and that's what you that's what you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans need to need to get a get a full dose of, man. These other nations are your enemies, man. Okay, they are not with you. They are not for you. We are above. The, is, the, the, the nation of Israel is above all other nation of people, okay? And the, the, the nations have conspired together to keep you down and to get and to get rid of you, okay? Let's go to uh, Psalms 83 and 1. Keep not thy silence, O, o Most High, O Power. Keep not thy peace be and be not still, O Power, okay? This is a Psalm of Asaph. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, okay? They that hate thee have lifted a head, okay? The enemies that make it made, made a, 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 a tumult, man. 
You know what I'm saying? Like a um, like um, like like they 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 pouting, man. They making a you know, they they kind of they 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 huffing and puffing. You know what I'm saying? They they don't want you know, they made a tumult. All right, and let's let's so lock it. Let me. I can just pull up pull up that word up right here. It's a lot. Come on, internet. Strong's H, 1993. Hama. Hama. Okay. It means to murmur, growl, roar, cry loud, to mourn, rage, make noise, to be clamorous. To be disquieted, to be to be troubled, to be in an uproar. Okay, so basically, what they're saying is these the heathens are in um they 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 they've in an uproar. They that hate the hip lifted the head. Who 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 hates you? All nations, starting with the so-called white man. Okay, starting with the so-called white man, Esau, Edom. Okay, but all these nations. Hate you on a, uh, against you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, or Native Americans, which you are the biblical, uh, Israelites. Okay. They that hate you have lifted up the head. They lifted up the head in pride. Okay. They have taken crafted counsel against our people and consulted against the hidden ones. Okay. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance man okay so when do they when do they um consult when they have these these summit meetings man okay when they have these un summit meetings and these g4 meetings and 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 and, and um Which is all these summit meetings that they having, man. Okay, they had it with the GS4, G G20, UN summit. All right, these things where they talking about making the world a better place. Yeah, making the world a better place. The NATO summit, a better place for themselves, man. Okay, they're conspiring to get rid of you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And they and they always have, okay. They lie up on their bed, uh, thinking of ways to get rid of you, man. Okay. Psalms eighty three and four. They have said, "Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may no, may no be be more, no more in remembrance, man." And it damn near all, almost did, okay. Was no more in remembrance, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee, okay. And who who are they? The Tabernacles of Edom, so-called white man, the Ishmaelites, the Arabs of Moab, the Chinamen, the Hagarines, Gabel, Ammon, Amalek, the Japanese and the Khazars, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre, man, the, the, the Hamites, man, okay? So these nations have made a tumult and lifted up the head, okay? They conspired against you. They said, let us break their bands asunder and cast away that cost from us how can we get keep get rid of these niggas how, how can we keep these niggas down said one thing they did they they created and promote black culture for you niggas man okay and you wax worse and worse and worse and worse man if you want to if you don't know what i'm talking about just take just go outside and take a look at, at any any nigga man look at niggas walking up and down the street man okay they look like fucking beasts, like monsters, like animals, man. Okay? And, and it's all negativity and darkness and death. But so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans has embraced this black culture, man. Okay? Let me go back to the scripture. <clears throat> Psalms 2 and 4. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Okay? In the state... Uh, of confusion man okay because they're trying to do do these things and make these things happen you know to set themselves up as the next rulers 
uh, of, of the earth and it's not the most high's will man okay and it's, it's, it's not his will so it's not gonna happen man it's a it's a vain thing okay job 12 and 16 with him is strength and salvation to deceive and a deceiver are his man so should you you the most high is deceiving you by thinking that you're going to be you know you're going to set up your new world order and that you're going to be the next to rule man okay psalms 2 and 5 then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure how is the, the he he is the most high how is he going to speak speak to them in his wrath with the lasers from the missiles i mean with the lasers from the the, the, uh, the chariots of israel okay that's going to bring destruction to, to Babylon, to the nuclear missiles. That's going to bring destruction to Babylon, to America. Okay? Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them, vex them in his sore displeasure. Alright? Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. Okay? That's you so-called Negroes, Latinos. And Native Americans, Israel, starting with the elect of Israel, okay? I would, I would declare the decree. Yahweh have said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee, okay? And that's a prophecy that took place. Uh, we can find that in uh, Matthew, Salakia. Matthew 3 and 17. All right. And Lord, voice of what we have saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Psalms 2 and 8. Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Okay. So the heathen, we're going to inherit the, the heathen, man. Okay. Who are the heathen? These other nations, we're going to inherit them, man. Okay, they they're going to become a possession of ours. Yes, the so-called white man, the Indian, the dot heads. Okay, you Arabs, you Gooks, Hamites, all you other nations, man. Okay, and the uttermost parts of the earth for that possession. So the lands, <coughs> Salaki, not only the people. But we're going to inherit the land also, okay? Thou shalt break them with the rod of iron and shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. <laughs> Salakia. I mean, we're going to rule over them, man. They're going to be in, they're going to be in servitude uh, to us, man, okay? You other nations. We're going to rule over you with the rod of iron, man, okay? Because you must, you must be paid back for what you've done to us, man. Doing slavery, okay? You will be paid back for what you've done to us in slavery. All right? I'm going to read that again. Psalms 2 and 8. Ask of me, and I should give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thine possess for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with the rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel, man. We're going to rule over you, man. We're going to be on you nation's asses, man. Because you got to pay. You got to. You, you, you must be paid back. For the things you've done to us in slavery, man. Okay. Goddamn devils, man. It's a lock, yeah. Psalms 2 and 10. Now be wise now, therefore, you kings, be instructed, you judges of the earth. Okay? The elect, the Israelites. Okay, we're going to be the kings. We're going to be the judges 
of the earth. Serve Yahweh with fear and rejoice with trembling. Okay? Be instructed. Be wise not therefore, ye kings, and be instructed. Serve Yahweh with fear and rejoice with trembling. All right? Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us conclude hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Okay? Psalms 2 and 11. Serve Yahweh with fear and with just with trembling. Psalms 2 and 12. Kiss the son, lest he be angry. And ye perish from, from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Okay? Who is the son? The son is Yahweh Shah. Hamasiah. How do you kiss the son? By, 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 by practicing the, the, the law, statutes, commandments to the, to the best of your, your ability, man. Okay? To give reverence to, you, to, to Yahweh Shah. To give honor to, to Yahweh Shah. Okay? Knowing the name of Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakah, Kadash, man. All right? That's how you kiss, kiss the son, man. All right? Lest he be angry and ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Okay? Bless are all that put, slack it. Best are, blessed are all they that put their trust in him, man. All right? And that's referring uh, to the elect, man. Okay? Because the elect is going to put the trust in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, and they're going to call his, call upon his name. Okay? And they're going to keep the laws, statutes, commandments to the best in, uh, of their abilities, man. All right? Let me go to this real quick. Surat, Ecclesiastes 17 and 10, and the elect should praise his holy name, man. Okay? So blessed are all they that put their trust in him. That's going to be uh, the elect, man. Okay, so these other, you know, the heathens, you other nations, shit, keep raging. Keep imagining in, in a vain thing, okay? Because it's not in the will of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, okay? Let me, um... Let's get the scripture... Yeah, Zechariah 2 and 8. For thus said Yahweh of hosts, after the glory hath he sent me into the nations which spoiled you. For he that touched you touches the apple of his eye. Okay. Jeremiah 30, 30 and 16. Therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that pray upon thee will I give for a prey, man. And who has done that? All these other nations, man. Starting with the so-called white man. He saw Edom. Okay? Therefore, all they that devour thee should be devoured. And all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee should be spoiled. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. All thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. Okay? For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. They that hate you have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Okay? The tabernacles of Edom, Ishmael, Moab, the Hagarines, Ammon, Amalek, the Philistines, inhabitants of Tyre. You other nations are our enemies, are our adversaries. And according to the scriptures, all the adversaries, every one of them, will go into captivity. Okay? You must be paid back for what you've done. To the children of Israel, the apple of the Most High's eye. All right.
and the Most High's will shall be done. Call Allah, Yahweh, Basham Yahweh, Basham Rakar Kadash, the Monastery of Apostle, and that was the great millstone. Peace, blessings, and say, Chase Dr. Akiyam out there on the four corners. Doing this work in faith, truth, sincerity, say, Chase to the confusing faces, Akiyam. Abba, Baba, Shalom.